I've been testing AI video generators for months now, and I've discovered tools that would have saved me hundreds of hours if I had known about them sooner. The problem is that there are dozens of AI video tools out there, but most of them are either too expensive, too complicated, or simply don't deliver the quality you need. After spending thousands of dollars testing different platforms, I've narrowed down the absolute best AI video generators that actually work. In this video, I'll show you exactly which AI video generators are worth your time and money, breaking down the pros and cons of each one so you can choose the right tool for your specific needs. Let's get into it. First up is Runway, which has been a favorite among creators for a while now. Runway is incredibly versatile. You can use it not only for generating videos, but also for in-painting, lip-syncing, and many other video editing tasks. It's also much faster than other tools. I created this cityscape scene to test runway, and here's the prompt I used. Aerial view of a futuristic city at sunset with flying cars moving between skyscrapers. Camera slowly pans across the skyline. The generation was quick, taking only about 30 seconds, and the result was decent. The buildings looked good, and the movement of the camera was smooth. However, the flying cars looked a bit blurry, and the overall resolution wasn't as crisp as I would have liked. The sunset colors were beautiful though, with a nice gradient from orange to blue in the sky. The pros are its speed and versatility. It's also very user-friendly, making it perfect for beginners. The range of tools available within the platform means you can do much more than just generate videos. You can edit them, enhance them, and combine them with other media. The cons are noticeable in the quality. The resolution isn't great, and the videos often look look fuzzy and low quality compared to other tools. Also, the character and camera physics can be a hit or miss, with characters sometimes gliding unnaturally instead of walking properly. I've noticed that complex movements like running or dancing often look strange and robotic. Next up is Sora by OpenAI. This is probably the most impressive AI video generator that I've tested when it comes to ultra realism. Sora can generate incredibly realistic videos from just a text prompt. The physics, lighting, and camera movements are mind-blowing. I tested it by creating this clip of a person walking through a forest. And honestly, it looks like something shot on a professional camera. I generated it using this prompt. A young hiker walks through a sunlit forest with rays of light filtering through the tree. The camera follows them from behind as they navigate over fallen logs and through ferns. Everything was captured perfectly. For example, the lighting effects as the sun breaks through the trees looked very realistic, as well as the natural movement of the hiker and even the small details like leaves rustling in the breeze. The textures of the bark on the trees and the moss look completely photorealistic. The realism of Sora is absolutely insane. You can generate videos up to 1080p resolution and you can create videos up to 20 seconds long. The camera physics and character movements look incredibly natural. It also has a storyboard feature that allows you to keyframe your videos, giving you more control over the final result. However, the content moderation is very strict, which can be frustrating when working on creative projects. I've had several generations rejected for seemingly innocent prompts, and it sometimes randomly changes your scene in unexpected ways, wasting your generation credit. Then we have Minimax, also known as Hilu. This Chinese-based video generator produces some impressive results. Minimax tends to add a lot of movement to your scenes, which can be great for adding life to your animations. You can generate up to three video clips at a time, which is a nice productivity boost. I tested Minimax with this prompt, a chef cooking in a busy restaurant kitchen, flames rising from the pan as they flip ingredients. It took about a minute to generate the video and the result was interesting. There was definitely a lot of movement. The chef was very animated, the flames were dynamic, and there was activity in the background. However, the movements, while plentiful, didn't always look natural, but the flames look good with realistic colors and movement. If you want to create a video where you want a lot of action and energy, Minimax can be a good choice. The ability to generate multiple clips at once is also a time saver, but keep in mind the fact that the overall realism isn't amazing compared to newer tools, and the resolution is lower, requiring you to upscale and sharpen the results. Characters also tend to talk even when not prompted to, which can be annoying if you're trying to create a silent scene. The physics can also be a bit off, 
with characters sometimes floating or moving in strange ways. Next is Luma Dream Machine, which was one of the first Gen 3 AI video generators. Luma is incredibly easy to use, and their API is very fast. I tested Luma with this prompt, a cat playing with a ball of yarn on a wooden floor, sunlight streaming through a window, taking only about 20 seconds. The result showed a cat that indeed looked like it was playing with a yarn, but the movements were very slow and dreamlike. Nothing like the natural, quick movements you'd expect from a cat. The sunlight effect was nice, creating a warm glow, but the overall scene had a slightly weird quality to it, rather than looking realistic. Luma offers simplicity, speed, and the first frame and last frame feature, which can be useful for certain types of animations. The interface is very intuitive, and you can get results quickly without much of a learning curve, but the realism is quite poor compared to newer tools. You tend to get a lot of slow motion footage, which isn't helpful if you're working on a project that needs realistic physics. The overall quality just doesn't match up to the newer tools on the market. Characters often look strange with unnatural proportions or movements, and the resolution is generally lower. Next is Kling, which is another Chinese video model, but with many more features. Kling allows you to train models on someone's face, giving you more control over who appears in your videos. It also has more settings to adjust, including negative prompting, which helps you get exactly what you're looking for. I tested Kling with this prompt, a detective examining evidence at a crime scene using a magnifying glass. The camera slowly zooms in on their concentrated face. I also added a negative prompt, blurry, distorted, unrealistic movements. The result was impressive. The detective looked genuinely focused with realistic facial expressions as they examined the evidence. The camera movement was smooth and cinematic with a nice slow zoom that added tension to the scene. But what really sets Kling apart from other AI video generators is their new elements feature, which is absolutely mind-blowing. This feature allows you to create videos with multiple consistent characters, clothing, objects, and environments that match perfectly across different scenes. I tested this feature by uploading images of two women with different looks and outfits. I then added this prompt. Two women are walking together in the jungle while the camera follows them. The result maintained both characters' appearances throughout the video. If you want to see a more detailed explanation of how the elements feature works, you can check my full tutorial in the description below where I show you how to generate an entire office tour using Kling. Kling offers stunning cinematic aesthetics, detailed results, and an impressive understanding of emotional expressions. The negative prompting feature is powerful for avoiding common AI generation issues, and the face training capability gives you more control over your characters. The elements feature takes consistency to a whole new level, allowing you to create cohesive narratives across multiple scenes. But it does have a steeper learning curve compared to some of the other tools. The interface has more options, which can be overwhelming for beginners, and the results can also be inconsistent. Sometimes you get an amazing generation, and other times it misses the mark completely, even with similar prompts. With the elements feature, I found that it works best with up to two consistent characters, because adding a third character often leads to mixing and confusion between characters. I've been using these tools to create content for my own channels, and they've saved me countless hours of work. If you want to try any of these tools, I've included links in the description below. Some of them offer free trials or credits, so you can test them before committing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.